you thought you were going to build and grow with them. This came out in reverse, um, but they ended up, this is not what you want. This is not the happiness you want. You thought this was the person for you. It's not. It's not. They're too controlling. They're too controlling over money, over resources, and they like throw it in your face. Yeah, you're wanting your happily ever after. You're wanting to create stability. You're wanting to have this sense of freedom, of true love, of true happiness, of true joy, of feeling free. You don't feel free with this person, this individual in your energy because they are controlling you and they're controlling you through money. And you thought this was a, you want to have a strong foundation based on love, based on happiness, based on joy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Aries, good morning, good day, and good evening, darlings. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> hmm, something with the throat chakra. Um, my name is Amanda. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returner, thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you all. Um, if you want to be a part of this high vibe tribe, definitely subscribe so you can be a part of this collective energy. I'm reading for a collective. It's an energy exchange between you darlings and me. So let's get into it. Also, the thumbs up help as an energy exchange as well. So let's get right into it. Aries, this is your good stuff. I did some pre-card shuffles. We're going to get to these at the end but I want to get right into your messages. Aries, what is it that you need to know? What do you need to know for your good stuff? What is coming your way? What does Aries need to know? There's some new clarity, uh, new ideas, new communication coming your way. That's too many. Uh, what else does Aries need to know? Hmm. You're going to have some new clarity having to do with mindset, having to do with... Um, also, people that are in your energy. I feel like you might be dealing, Aries, with somebody who is in your energy, who is trying to control you. I mean, this is a good step reading. Um, so what's good about it is that you're recognizing this. You're recognizing the control. Um, I feel like they may want to have control over your finances. Like maybe they control you because they are the financial giver or something like that. Um, but you're going to realize that you can do things on your own that you don't need necessarily this energy. There's just a lot of, of truth that, that's coming out. You're seeing somebody for their true colors. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing the truth. I keep just hearing that. You're seeing the truth. You're being told the truth. You might be hearing a message having to do with somebody who doesn't have the right um, energy towards you. The right. You might be hearing about somebody. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to be hearing some news about somebody who, uh, oh man, who did some dirty deeds somebody we have the three of swords here this is um heartbreak it's stabbing you stabbing you in the heart there's something here and i think you're going to learn the truth about something and i don't think it's from this person i think it's from somebody else like you're going to be told something you're going to find out something oh man aries this is supposed to be your good stuff uh i also feel like it, the whatever this is it's like hmm Wow. Whatever this is, it's like a blessing in disguise that you find this out um, because you release yourself from this negativity. You release yourself from this. Um, yeah, this is for Aries who are leaving a situation. This is for Aries who have new clarity on how that they can still be stable on their own. I feel like the Aries I'm speaking to have, have felt like they, they had to rely on somebody else or a job or something like that for resources. And you're realizing you can do a whole, you can do something else. Um, you've been watching, uh, you've been, you've been kind of, um, researching, you've been researching ways of how to attain money, of how to be resourceful on your own, something like that, or how to attain more resources and money. But, um, uh, you've decided to choose your happiness. You've decided that you're not sacrificing anything for your happiness. And I feel like whoever this individual is, this is somebody who you thought 
I mean, it definitely is a big deal. They broke your heart. Whatever information you hear, it is it is a huge ordeal. And you're just shocked that this person did this to you. But the thing is, like I said, it's a blessing in disguise because you set yourself free. Um, before it got to, before it gets too involved, I'm seeing, um, but you set yourself free with this Leo energy and the sun coming up. And it's like, you chose happiness. You, you recognize that this was not, this energy is not something that you want in your life. Um, you're definitely very, very much aware. You have so much more clarity. If you've been wondering about somebody, uh, I love how they're, what is that? A firefly? I don't know. Dragonfly. We don't have those here in Arizona. We have dragonflies, but not fireflies anyway yeah it's a bunch of like flyer fireflies there's something that's been being illuminated there's something that you are seeing if you've been if you've been wondering if something is going on it definitely is I mean if you've been questioning something you uh, follow your instincts your instincts have been right you are gonna hear the truth about the situation it's it's definitely devastating news that you're gonna hear but again it's like this blessing in disguise um, the nine of wands this is the wounded warrior this is you putting up your guard <laughs> there's a tower yeah there's definitely something that's gonna be revealed that is going to um, definitely be a little bit shocking you're going to be taken back by it uh and it has to do with this devil energy somebody not um showing up as how they are but you choose yourself you choose happiness you choose um you choose to follow your intuition you choose to trust your your mind your clarity your knowledge this, this could have to do with business partners. This could have to do with um, an old person that you know. This could have to even do with a family member. Uh, we have two sixes that came out right together. So we have um, the first cup was the six of cups. This is somebody who could be coming in with an apology. Um, but I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody you know. Um, this person is somebody who you work with or who was giving you finances. I said that to begin with. Like I feel like you relied on them. Whether this is a business partner or a actual spouse or a family member that was supporting you um you relied on them for help and i feel like it's almost like they were using that to control you okay clarify this queen of pinnacles please and thank you clarify the queen of pinnacles please and thank you Yeah, you're moving forward. You decide that this is not for you, darling. The clarity, the clarity that you have and and what you want and wished for when you were younger is not this. Um, I think whoever this was, this devil energy is somebody you definitely know. And um, you you are figuring out some new information, some truths about them and what what their intentions were with helping you out. And it really had to do a lot with control. So you're out of here. You're out of here. You're like, I can make my own resources. I can do my own thing. Um, let's clarify this three of swords, please. And thank you. Uh, this is just you, Aries, recognizing that you don't need to be under someone's control. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. You thought, whoever this was, you thought you were going to build and grow with them. This came out in reverse. Um, but they ended up, this is not what you want. This is not the happiness you want. You thought this was the person for you. It's not. It's not. They're too controlling. They're too controlling over money, over resources. And they like throw it in your face. Yeah, you're wanting your happily ever after. You're wanting to create stability. You're wanting to have this sense of freedom, of true love, of true happiness, of true joy, of feeling free. You don't feel free with this person, this individual in your energy because they are controlling you and they're controlling you through money. And you thought this was a, you want to have a strong foundation based on love, based on happiness, based on joy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is a marriage card. Um, you thought that this marriage, this foundation, this beginning, it's something you're having to walk away from, Aries. There's something here where you're leaving a situation. I know this was your good stuff reading, and it is good because it is like a blessing in disguise because you're letting this person go. You are out of here. And so I feel like they're no longer going to be in your energy in the way that you thought that they would, um, the way that they pretended. There's death. <laughs> death is coming out so uh, something is over having to do um with somebody somebody's been spying on you maybe this is a family member and you you're stopped i don't know 
It feels like this is somebody you're connected to and somehow they provide resources towards you. Anyways, there's death with this page of swords. Um, this is a spy guy card. Somebody might be watching you, spying you. Like they don't want you to know the truth and you're about to find out. And this is scorpion, scorpionic energy here. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. You are definitely having your guard up because your, your antennas, it's like you recognize that something's not right. And so you're really trusting your intuition here with this Ace of Swords. You're trusting your guidance. You're trusting um, it, it, the little hairs that stand up on the back of your neck. Like that doesn't seem right. And, um, you feel like a fool because you let this person in, but you weren't a fool. You were just fairly trusting. You thought, you know, when people come in with a mask on like the devil, it's really, it's, it's really hard because some people are so narcissistic, so manipulative. And so you were trusting of them. And now it's like you trusted them, but now you have your guard up because you, you feel taken advantage of. You feel like you were too vulnerable with them. Uh, give me one more card. What else do we need to know for Aries? Oh, they gave me two. Yeah, something is coming out of it, it. Something has been, there's a veil. There's been illusions. There's things that you don't know that are going to come out of, uh, come out. There's secrets that are going to come out. You're going to have to really think this through. You're going to have a decision to make. Are you walking away from this situation? I think you are. I think you're moving forward. And you're going to have this brand new start. You're going to realize that you can do this on your own. Uh, definitely a lot of heavy energy here. This is you recognizing that um, your worth, your value, how you choose to be treated uh, moving forward and for your life and what kind of people you want in your life. And whoever this is, this is not good energy. I'm just saying they're just really super controlling and they're using money and resources to control you. And that's never a good thing. Let's get into these cards. I want to see what the fairy card said. Look inside yourself. This is about self-awareness. This is about you um, knowing your self-worth. This is about you trusting your intuition, having the answers, knowing what you deserve. Ask your angels in the near future and helpful people. There are people that will help you. So don't cut yourself off and feel like you need to do this all on your own. There are people that will help you um, to gain this independence with this Queen of Pentacles, the moon. <laughs> I save these to the end because my energy doesn't lie. My cards don't lie and I don't lie. And it just, it's freaking, it's source, it's spirit. It's a gift. Anyway, the moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Okay. Do you need an, a, any other signs, Aries? Do you need, do you need, I mean, I don't know how much clearer I could be, but yeah, this is a real deal over here real deal holy feel all right aries i'm sending you all my love light sprinkles definitely remember to subscribe if you want to be a part of the high vibe tribe and part of my collective give me a thumbs up it helps the algorithm plus it's an energy exchange like i said between you and me darlings have the most fabulous day congratulations on recognizing your worth um, and moving forward uh, uh, confidently all right sending you